We're Chuck and Lori, and we're going to show you Alaska. Today we're going to show you some really cool places to go to eat and drink. We're going to show you some of our favorite stops along the way. There's no doubt Alaska is a fine place for foodies. Cheers. Cheers. So pack your bag and join us. Twenty minutes outside of Homer, and in typical Alaska fashion, in late August, yeah, it's raining. It's raining a lot. But I'm gonna leave my sunglasses on. I'm gonna leave my sunglasses on. <laughs> leave your sunglasses on in case it stops. It smells fishy. You think the sun can come out? Maybe. Ah. Ooh. It's a bad smell. If only we had scratch and sniff cards for the channel. Well, you have to ask. Is that, is that a fish smell or is that another smell? This takes well, me back to Hampton Beach in New Hampshire in my childhood Well, no, days. it feels like somebody needs to um, um, unplug the toilet. It is a little sultry. So it's this place in the middle. It's very cute. I wish it was nice and out. Oh, and they're right. They're, they have a view of the water right behind them. Normally. <laughs> <laughs> All right, going into the Fresh Catch Cafe. Let's do this. So we're at the Fresh Catch Cafe. And we actually got a couple of Alaskan ambers. Yeah, like old times. So cheers. Cheers. Fishes are right. We have halibut <laughs> and chips. And I'm sure it's super, super fresh. Okay. And, I'll, and I'll bet you it was flopping on the dock just a little while ago. Probably. I think so. <laughs> I think it's super fresh. So, so I have to try it out. I just have to try some of those. Yeah. Oh my god, it's a big pile of fish. I know. And, and super, super fresh. And the verdict is? It's very good. If you're in Homer and it's a nice day, Sit outside on the deck and enjoy the view. If it's a squishy day, go inside and enjoy the food because it's amazing. We're Kanai Brewing Company. Try out some beers and they have food too, don't they? They do. Good. A full menu. Nice. So that's what we're going to do now. So come along with us and check it out. The founders of Kanai Brewing Company met in 2001 and it wasn't but five years later and they were up and running and brewing beer. And this is the result. It's actually sunny out at the moment. So, without further ado, let's give these a whirl. So we are going to do this flight of four beers. And we're going to start with the Russian River Raz. Yeah, I'm going to try it first this, this time. This one. This one. Super light looking in. Smells raspberry airy 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 ish. Yes. So, it's a, it's infused with mini raspberries. Indeed. Oh, it is. It's, it's super raspberry-ish. We have fries. We do. That's a lot of fries, Chuck. Um, you're I funny. didn't realize... But you're funny, you know why? I have to say this. Why am I funny? Because we both got chicken spinach salads to be healthier, and then you get a boatload of fries. And I mean a boatload. <laughs> I wanted the fries because I had to balance out the healthy with the not healthy. But that is a lot of fries. It's a few fries. <laughs> Next up is the Arctic XPA, which is um, an American Pale Ale, I believe. And it's a 5.2. So it's a 5.2, so mid-scale, kind of nice. You want to try it? Sure. Grab her. I thought it was very different. It's light. It's um, kind of crisp, actually. Crisp, but different. You know, Couldn't place like, the hot. You know, spirit is almost like, can I say this, like a lager? Maybe. Maybe. It's definitely different. This one's Sunken Island IPA, which is, what's the ABV on this one? 
This one is a 6.8. So this one's a 6.8. Okay. So it says an English IPA with an American finish. I wonder, I don't know. When we go to England, we'll be able to compare it better. I do like it. There's like a, what are you talking about? Um, what is that at the end? It's, no, it's, it's almost... It finishes sort of... Smoky hoppy. I don't know how to explain it, but I like it. It finishes hoppy without being sweat sock. Yeah. Crisp hoppy. It's, it's good. Yeah, it's good. So if you're in Sterling, Alaska, and you're hungry, maybe thirsty, stop by Kanai River Brewing. You won't regret it. It's pretty awesome. We're going into the Glacier Brew House right here in downtown Anchorage and it looks pretty cool. We're going to get some food and beer, right? Yes, we should go in. All right, let's do this. This place is really, really cool. It's going to be hard to vlog it, but we're going to try do our best here. Check out the fireplace over here. It's like ridiculously cool. I would say. So I think the fireplace is like super cool and I wish they would light it. Yeah, me too. All right, next big question. How is your beer? It's good. It's, um, it's a little bitey, but it's good. That's good. I think mine is like, um, what's this one called? I don't remember what it's called. It's been such a long day, but it's a really, it's, um, it's an IPA, but it's a massively one. It's like 9.44%, so it's like seriously wheelchair grade, I think. I guess I should have kept it for you, I'm sorry. Wow, this is a dangerous beer. Dangerous beer. You know what, mine was just called IPA. Really, that's simple enough. I think that's it. IPA. This is massive. The place is huge. And look at the ceiling. The ceiling is really, really super cool. Yeah, it's just... Hey, it's rustic and industrial at the same time. It is... Rust... Rustustrial. <laughs> is that a word? It is now. Gets a co-action score of 5 out of 5 so far. But that could change subject to the meal. We'll see how the meal goes. Alright, Lori. Try out the calamari. Oh, interesting too, it's calamari strips. Calamari strips with jalapenos. Uh oh, I'd save those for you. Oh. This is like big, big pieces of calamari, look at it. I like jalapenos. Is it good? It's good. Hey, hey. Hey, bring that back over here. These things are hot. <laughs> where, where do I remember that from? Hot. But I like them so much. They burn, but I like them. It hurts so good. <laughs> Your halibut has arrived. What do you think of it? It looks really good. Halibut, garlic mashed potatoes, a salad. It's very good. A kiss of spice. Think crazy. And how can you go wrong with halibut? I mean, it's halibut. If you Hal like, if you like fish, I think you like it. Yeah, and it's super flaky and really just flopping off the dock, like trying to flop off the dock, but it didn't succeed in escaping. So now here it is on my plate. So it's interesting because this restaurant is casual. But somehow, with all the waiters, it seems a little bit more upscale at the same time. How do we rank this place? On what scale? Um, one to five. Um, maybe a four? A four. You're gonna go five. No, four is good. Four, yeah. You always want to leave room for improvement, I see, I'd say. I see the fireplace gives it a five <coughs> if they turn it on. All right. Right? I agree. If they turn the fireplace on, I'd give it a five. I mean, seriously, that is the most awesome fireplace I've ever seen. It is super cool. Mm. Mm. 
I think we should go back to the room. Glacier Brewing gets a Quebection foodie rating of 4 out of 5. Don't miss it. We're going into Anchorage Brewing Company. And we're going to do a tasting. Yeah. You guys can join us and we'll see what this place is all about. Wake me up in the middle of the night. You say I cannot wait till the morning. Some things just have to be done in the middle of the pouring rain. Let's do this. This place is really cool. Today we're at Anchorage Brewing Company and this place is pretty cool looking. I like the way we're at barrels right now, staring at barrels. Um, we're trying a couple of beers. This is Maelstrom, which is a hazy IPA. And Lori has... I'm So Lost, which is a double IPA. Yeah, so cheers. Cheers. Very citrusy. This is like orange juicy. <laughs> yeah, well this is citrusy with a touch of sweat sock. Or dankness. Dankness. Time for a beer trade. Let's try each other's beers. So we're gonna do a switch? Yeah, switcheroo. Okay. I'm trying I'm so lost. You know what? That one's better. I like that one better. Well, that's good then. That's so weird. See, then we're happy. Because this happy. one. Here, give me my beer back. This one's danker. Yeah. Give me my beer back. <laughs> so this place definitely has a cool tap room. There are barrels and tanks in the tap room with you because it's actually the working brewery, which is really a cool place to kind of sit and enjoy a beer, right where it's being brewed and made. It's cool. And the beer is really good. The beer so is good. If you're in the area, I say definitely make it a stop. Yep, put it on your list. If you get to Anchorage Brewing, be sure to check out the deck up top and the patio down low with the fire pits. It's a really cool place, really good vibe, and really, really awesome beer. The Moose's Tooth Pub and Pizzeria is the number one pizzeria in Anchorage, number one in Alaska, and number three in the United States. It's super easy to find, and you have to check it out if you're in Anchorage. If you don't, you're seriously missing out. So there was gonna be an hour and a half wait to get a table, but we snagged two seats at the bar in like minutes. So if you come here, you wanna snag seats at the bar if you can, just scope it out. We quickly learned that this place not only has great pizza, but great beer too. And the vibe, well the vibe is just super chill and awesome. Definitely a great place to stop. What is that? We're having a couple of good beers here. I'll let Lori start first. She picked first. So I have the Yellow Eye PA. Yellow Eye PA. <laughs> this sounds funny. Yeah, kind of. And that, and that one is a 7.8%. Ooh, it is a 7.8. That's pretty big beer. Like the Fairweather that I chose is also an IPA, but it's only a 6.4. So a much smaller beer. So it's a moose tooth. Cheers. Cheers. There we go. Have a look at the pizza menu. It's pretty... Pretty wild. Check this out. I was like, yeah, your normal stuff, but then we decided to do the mac and cheese on one half and avalanche on the second half. So I hope we made a good choice. I think so. Yeah, we'll see. Time yeah, will tell. You can't. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. So this is definitely the go-to pizzeria. In Alaska. Pizza showed up. Yeah, but which pizza was it? It's um, Avalanche on the right and mac and cheese on the left. And that is Looks really, really good. 
one large pizza. It's a big ass pizza. And I don't know what we so were thinking. Good. Well, dig in. All right, we're gonna try the mac and cheese pizza right now because it looks really good. This is so fun. This is a really good pizza. It looks good. You should try some. I'm gonna have to. I'm still, oh. I'm still working on my avalanche. All right. I'll hurry up. I'll eat it all. See what I mean? It's a party in your mouth. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. Delicious. So right now I'm trying the mac and cheese pizza. This is amazing. <laughs> And we're leaving our mark at Moose Tooth right now. Check this out. There we are. We're there. I know, we have a pizza. All right, pizza to go. All right. <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh.